I'm going to show you the steps you need to go through to save your project to ensure that I will be able to see everything for this project number two. So uh, here's a project I've been working on and so I don't have anything yet in arrangement view. Uh, you might, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to do this after. So first thing we're going to do is now I'm going to save uh, this, this file, uh, this session, and all this session view information into a separate file. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under File, I'm going to go Save Live Set As, and I'm going to go to my Documents folder, and I have a My Ableton's Live folder, and in this folder, I'm going to create a new folder called Project Number Two, and then my name. All right, and so now I've created this folder, and I'm going to cr put everything that I need for this in this folder, so I can then put this into the Google Drive folder to share. Okay, so the next step I need to do is what's called uh, collect all and save. So under file, I go collect all and save. And uh, make sure you have all of these selected. Okay, and what this is going to do is this is going to ensure that everything in terms of audio files are, set in w are saved in one folder so then I'll be able to open it and listen to everything that you have. So just hit OK. And it'll go through the process of backing up all those files. So now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to do a save live set as. And so again, kind of working back, here's my documents folder. Here's my Ableton Lives, uh, my Ableton Lives folder. Here's my project two folder, right? And then here's this demo. And so here's where I'm going to save. Uh, so I'm going to say arrangement one. So this is going to be version one. So uh, maybe I'll even put my name on it. So Nick arrangement one. So it's just going to be this, the, one of these .als files. Okay. So I'm just going to save that in here. So in the same folder, I'm going to hit save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from session view into arrangement view and capture performance. So here we go. So I'm going to hit uh, stop. Uh, while I'm in session view, it might be handy to kind of see where I am in the arrangement view. So under view, I'm going to go down to overview and select this. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit. So I'm going to bring my cursor. Where is this here? There it is. So now I can see all the tracks. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and so those are all the tracks in the timeline. And I'll be able to see kind of get what gets recorded when as I'm sort of doing this. And I can always change this afterwards. So, okay, so uh, all I have to do is hit the record button here and then start triggering clips. So I'm going to stop all clips for, to start with and then get started. Okay, so I've just finished recording my first arrangement in arrangement view. Again, here's my session view. And now here I am in arrangement view. And now I can go in and edit things and change things, open up um, regions here and edit them. I've got some audio files. I've got a lot of MIDI here. I might apply some automation and things like that, tweak things, maybe even delete them. To start listening to this, all I have to do is hit this button here. And now I'm in arrangement view and I can edit and I can change automation and do all kinds of things like change volume in places, do fade ins and all kinds of stuff and listen to it and just kind of get a sense of this arrangement. And so what I'm going to do is save this live set. All right. And so we're all set with that. And so now if I go back to my folder, my original folder. So here I am. So here is my documents folder, my My Ableton Lives folder. Here's my project folder. There's the demo. And so this is the file I just recorded, right? That's my version one arrangement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the original one 
again and go back and then record a new arrangement. Or the other thing I can do is I could just go back to here. Let me turn off automation. I'm going to select all command A. Oops, command A, hit delete. So now I have nothing in a range of view again. I'll go back to session view. Stop, go back to the beginning. Let me make this a little bit bigger, my overview, so I can see this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a save live set as. And I'm going to do version 2 now. And I'm saving it in the same place. So again, this is being saved to, here's my project 2 folder, there's my demo session, and so now I'm saving version 2 right in here, same place. Hit save. And so now I can try to record a second version of this same piece. Okay, so I just finished recording in session view. I'll go to arrangement view. So there's all, there's my new arrangement. I'll click on here. And so again, make sure that this is saved. I can see my title bar, Nick Arrangement version two. So I can just make sure I save this. So as I'm working and now making any kind of automation changes in, in these tracks, again, I can do the same sorts of things and automate panning or even change some of these clips. I kind of want this one to be as long. So I'm going to change this loop point here. Maybe actually, uh, grab this and move that out of the way because I want to clean this up a little bit and add a little bit of a break in here. So I can always change things and obviously I'm going to be using my ears to check all this kind of stuff out. So when I go back to my, my folder here, I can see that uh, here's my project folder, project two, there is the session folder and now I have my original session file and my two versions here. And so you want to copy all of this whole folder is going to get dropped into the, um, uh, the, the Google Drive folder. And you can see that all the samples I've imported will come along with it. Anything I had in um, a, drum, a drum pad or any of my um, uh, simpler... Uh, since or anything like that will be there. I've actually got all these app backup files too. Um, you don't necessarily have to copy that, but why not? So, uh, so just copy all of this uh, into your Google Docs folder so that way I can see your project.